Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I am about 31 weeks pregnant and we just had our baby shower about a week ago and I wanted to tell you guys about it. I did a couple of DIYs that I think are really, really cute and I wanted to show them to you and just kind of talk about how it turned out. We had a small baby shower at home and I feel like we're in the age of the big baby shower life. And I just wanted to show you how our home baby shower turned out. Um, so please like this video and subscribe to my channel and let me know if you have any questions down below and let's get into it. start this by saying when I tell you guys I felt terrible I felt terrible the day of the shower oh my gosh my stomach hurt I was nauseous I barely could eat any of the food I was super tired I was just not in great shape um, even then when we did get dressed and come down and take pictures I was burning up I literally felt like my body was on fire it was just a struggle so I am kind of glad that we kept it very chill very low-key I actually have an aunt that is a food influencer which know her okay I'll put her her at y'all go follow her on TikTok because <laughs> she's amazing uh, on TikTok and Instagram she is amazing but she did cater our baby shower brunch um, which I'm so thankful for and I did get some input on the menu and everything turned out super super yummy so a lot of our decor for the baby shower came from Amazon. So I wanna talk through a couple of those things. One thing that we did for the shower is we did make a balloon garland. Now, unfortunately, this was something that we did the day of, and that was a mistake, okay? None of us had never ever made a balloon garland before. It was so ambitious. I actually ended up being pretty freaking good at it, but I felt like crap and I had no time and it was something that we could have made a day or two before and we just didn't. Um, would I do it again? I absolutely would. I'll leave the link to the garland that we used below. Um, and it turned out super cute, but it just wasn't enough time. I didn't have enough time to blow up all the balloons. We kind of just like threw it up there because we were like, okay, this is just where it is and we have to move on to the next thing. But all in all, we did reach out to a couple of local um, people who do like the balloon art, the balloon, you know, um, and backdrop situations. I think the cheapest one I was quoted was $600. And it's just like paying $600 to take a picture in front of something not the wave. It wasn't the wave for me. I don't want it to go to balloons that we're gonna throw away after this. No, we're not doing that. The next thing we did DIY, obviously, were the flowers. This is, no matter if you do a venue, if you do something big, you can always DIY the flowers, honey, okay? I'm a big flower DIY type of girl. I went and purchased a bunch of flowers from Trader Joe's. I think I bought about $80, $80 worth, maybe and it made two tall arrangements, one short arrangement, and little mini arrangements for the table. Perfect, that's all we need. That's all we need. If you go to a florist, they're gonna charge you a bunch of money. Now, flower arranging is a skill, so if you don't have that vision, I totally get going to a florist, but we definitely just kinda, I was the one who kinda spearheaded the flower thing because I am the, the you know, fake florist of the family and it turned out super super cute i would do it again so i did stick with my preferred like color palette for flowers i like whites i like greenery i like like that light fresh you know look for flowers 
but you could go very whimsical, lots of colors. You can go with whatever your theme is as far as that color. Maybe it's purple, maybe it's pink, maybe it's yellow, um, maybe it's red. You know, whatever your, whatever your theme is, you can go with that. But ours turned out great. I used a mix of hydrangeas, mums, eucalyptus, some other greenery, um, whatever those little button flowers are, roses. So like I used a mix of flowers. Beautiful. Only cost me about 80 bucks. I would do it again. So the next thing are the drink tags for the champagne. So freaking cute, you guys. These are from Amazon. I looked and if I would have had them made on Etsy, it would have cost me about $40, including shipping, maybe a little more. I bought them on Amazon for $12. So I used my Cricut machine and just put Baby Bill on there. Such a cute little touch and affordable. Loved it. Also created a little mimosa bar sign that I used my Cricut machine for. Um, I put it on acrylic. It was so freaking cute. But I also printed these. I printed two little signs to be able to use at the shower that I forgot. I forgot because the shower was in a different city than where we live. And I forgot these here and I was too tired to like try to print them somewhere else. And I was like, forget it. But I did make these available for download on my blog if you guys want these. I made them with canvas, super easy, but I'm spreading the love, okay? My sister also ordered the like baby block things from Amazon. They turned out really cute. She ordered the teddy bear from Amazon that turned out super cute. We also made little thank you like snack bags that had powdered donuts in it that just thanked them for coming to the shower. Um, I printed those labels on my printer at home and both of those things were ordered from Amazon sister ordered the oh baby cake topper from amazon you know all of it was super chill that with like the white tablecloths a set table it's really all you need and i had a really really great time i think my husband had a great time um and at the end of the day a baby shower is about like fellowship and like you know i was there with my aunts and my godmothers and they were all telling me stories and they were like just you know letting me know that i had this village of people that would be there for me be there for us while we go into this next phase in life and it felt so freaking good and that's like at the end of the day all you really want all you want is to feel that love and feel that support um and of course get the gifts right let me know if you have any questions or comments and leave them down below and thanks for watching